is Jai Harman. Um, I come from the UK, a small town called Rugby. Um, I've grown up in China. Um, I could say I've grown up in China. I was here when I was, you know, just coming out of my teens. I was telling my grandparents that I was going to go to China one day and train like Bruce Lee. And they laughed and said, yeah, that's never going to happen. When I realized that I was going to stay in China for, um, for a long period of time, the first thing I did was, okay, I've got my apartment, now I need to find a Kung Fu school. My teacher, Wang Jiapong from Beijing Wing Chun, is world renowned for his skill in, in uh, the art of Wing Chun. I went there with the idea of, of first testing out to see whether the, the stories of his skill were true. 好的功夫老师都会跟你就是交流一下因为本身他有基础嘛他也学过用春拳所以他得他得感受一下那你到底是不是好的功夫师傅对吧所以他会自己会跟我就是碰撞一下您觉得你这功夫到底行还是不行 Uh, I left with a, a bloody nose. You know, beat me up, yeah. Otherwise, there's no point in me learning from them, right? <laughs> if someone says, hey, I heard you do Kung Fu, and one of their first things they do is they go, wah! This is because that's what they see in the movies, what we would call fantasy Kung Fu. Wing Chun is not very pretty. Wing Chun is straight to the point. Uh, it's economical. Basically, we don't come off the center to punch um, and waste our time. We want to punch the most direct route between two points, between my fist and your face. Really, it's, it's based on being able to beat someone stronger than you, and also with less practice. So um, a lot of the, the prettiness and everything was taken out, and stuff that took a long time for balance and jumping around in the air and spinning and stuff um, was cut down to just being able to punch hard and punch straight and punch strong. The logical progression in, in any Kung Fu is to uh, become a teacher and, and teach your own students. It's to pass it on. It's a family, it's a hereditary uh, martial art where the top teaches people and then they teach people and they teach people and, uh, and, and it lives on like this. A lot of people that, um, that study Kung Fu, they call me or they send me messages on, on uh, Facebook or something and they say, hey, oh, it's, one of my dreams is to come over to China and train with you guys. You know, somewhere it like, feels nice and warm because I feel like I'm living that dream. A lot of times people say, oh, when are you going home? Uh, and I kind of think, well, I'm, I have no plan to go home. This is my home. I've been here, you know, over 10 years and I've contributed to the society quite well. For me, the next progression is what do I do in China? If I can stay here for a long time, I will stay here for a long time. If I can't, then I will go back to the UK and, and I will represent my teacher in the UK.